Hello world. So I think it's time to get back to making these coding videos. And it's not gonna be like, well, it's not gonna be that interesting because I, I'm i still learning this stuff. I'm still building this stuff myself. And this is not a tutorial. This is not like an explanation or, or anything. I'm just taking you on a ride with me here. Uh, I'm going to be implementing some stuff and I'll be talking about it as if we were pair programming. So uh, today we're improving focus light. And if you recall, that is my website blocker. Uh, so let me show you focus light that app. And it asks, do you have a web surfing habit? And if you do, it helps you break it by blocking your websites. So we have this application in the App Store. It is in production and we're gonna make some improvements to it. And I had already started making them. So we'll just continue uh, where I left off. Okay, first thing, I think I'm gonna bump up the font size for you. Here we go, make sure you can read that on that small YouTube player. All right, I'll just show you exactly where I am at the moment. And should we switch to the night mode? Probably it is dark here. Okay, well, oh boy, where it says running, but I'm not seeing it. Okay, it's only now coming up. Okay, here, okay, and we also got our tomato just finished. So I'm just gonna start the break as we look through it. And then when we start coding, I'll start the tomato. All right, so we got focus light right here. Uh, it's not activated at the moment, and we're gonna work on these websites here. You can already notice that I made some changes here. Before, we only had this list, which was taking the entire screen, and now we have two sides. We have um, on the left and on the right. So what we're gonna do is have like a little split view. On the left, we'll have all the groups, and on the right, we'll have all the websites belonging to that group. So this is out, this is out of date now. We need to finish that. Okay, let's make sure this looks good in the light mode. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. So there's a little issue with this um, with this font color. Like this no rules text is kind of dark. It should be white instead. All right, let's not worry about details for now. We'll switch back to dark mode because it looks good here. And it seems like you can select multiple. Is that the case here as well? It's okay. Okay, so th there are a few things that I don't like about this. Um, for example, I'd like some line separators, but I don't know how to do that. So I'll work on the main thing first, and that would be replacing this view with a list of websites for the selected group. So let's get to it. We're gonna have us uh, something called websites UI state. And not this, but here we have selected websites. That's cool. But we'll add published or selected groups set blocked group equals empty set. Now our uh, groups list has state with selected groups and we're gonna change that. And this is called websites UI state. All right, uh, so we have now a reference to our UI. So instead of referencing state here, we're gonna reference self the UI dot selected groups. Let's see if that works. Oh, I, I had started, so let's start my tomato. Okay, um, okay. All right, we'll just take a look at websites list because we can copy a lot from here. All right, so I just missed this part. And that should work. Okay, that builds. So, can get rid of that now. So, okay, we have now we have um, the list of groups on the left and let's just see what do we have on the right. So here it's being rendered in an H stack and here we're rendering the websites list. 
So we're going to have to change that quite a bit because right now uh, the things are grouped inside. So it's going through all the groups and and what is it doing? And it's rendering something called website group section. So instead of iterating through blocked groups, we're going to open website's UI state and we're going to provide a method that will return the currently selected group. So, and this is a set and we just need the one. So we'll do, I don't know where I should put this though. I'll just go at the end, var selected group, blocked group optional. And here's how we're gonna do it. If selected groups count is greater than one, we don't return anything. Or just go like this. If it's exactly one, we return selected groups first. Otherwise, we return nothing. Okay. So, huh. hold on. I just thought of something. I'm wondering if I have this night shift turned on. Did that change for you too? I don't know, but I'll just keep it turned off so that you have the proper quality here. Okay. Oh, oh, but it hurts my eyes. Okay, so this returns now the selected group. So in this for each loop, we don't want to go through groups. We want to go through websites. And how do we do it? Do how do we do that? I'm thinking we can just say self UI selected group dot all websites like that. And if it doesn't exist, use empty array. So this way we should iterate through all the websites here in this group in the select in the currently selected group. So let's just print out the website name webs. Nope, it's the website. Oh, I got a message. I'm glad my notifications are turned off at the moment. So what is it title? Is it URL? What is it? How do we identify a website? Let's open XC data model. Our website has domain. So dot domain. Let's try to build that and I'll read my message meanwhile. Okay. All right, so it's optional. So we'll have to default to empty string. Um, build it now. So now when I select a group, I should see a list of websites for that group. Great. Okay, except, well, uh, we don't need this websites group section anymore. And but we do need website list item and we should be able to just reuse that from the previous UI. So let's just try doing that. See what that might look like. Okay. Just the same. Now what I'm thinking is, can we get the fav icon? You know what I mean? The, 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 little, the little icon of the website. AP to get favicon, favicon, I don't know how to say it. Favicon, like, would that be fairly easy? That's my question. Gotta launch this app. Okay. Okay, I mean, that's cool, uh, but is it like an API? Oh, cool. Does not require, okay. 100 requests per minute from one IP, that's fine because it'll be done by my users, not me. This is neat, isn't it? 
We're, we'll do favicons for sure. Favicons? Okay. So how do we do it? Hmm. Okay. There's a type for each icon. I I don't know which one I should use. But we'll try this. This is pretty neat. So that's all. Fantastic. Okay, so I think I'll want to pick like the PNG. It might be the easiest to work with, but this is way too large for my taste. Maybe I can. Okay, there are. This it says something about sizes, but will this apply to some uh, like obscure website? Ooh, they don't have any. Really, it's like a Slovak news website. They really don't have an icon. Okay, let's try one of the websites that I work on uh, in, in my full-time job. KGBase.com. Okay. Looks like I have some icons going for me, but I still wouldn't know which one to pick. Maybe like dot ICO. It doesn't even show here. Okay, let's see what else can we do. Give me like uh, something, something not too popular. Oh, let's do my own website, focusmark.org. Okay, looks like I have ICO file, and so I think I think most websites will only have the ICO file. So question is, if we have a library for rendering images in SwiftUI, so SwiftUI uh, image grabber or something? No, image remote image. Oh, there was a good library for this. I just oh, don't have a clue which one. It, oh, here we go, remote image SwiftUI. And I think we already have that in the project. Let me see here. Let me see the extend packages. I'm not seeing it. Probably not then. It is like a, this is not a popular package. Let's look for awesome uh, Swift UI. Awesome Swift UI. And let's look for images, something, something. Yes. Async image loading. Okay. What is this? URL image, not very popular. Not very pop. Okay, come on. Swift remote image. Oh. There is like a big library to do this. Here we go. It's SD web image, I remember now. Swift UI. Okay. All right, there's a SD web image, Swift UI. Good. Okay. So my question is, does it support ICO images? So if I look for SD web image, ICO, it doesn't say anything about ICO. I mean, maybe I suppose maybe I should just try it, you know? Just set up as the web image Swift UI and just try it. But there will be a few things to do, uh, but it is fun. I want to do it. So here we have what, so first thing. Let's comment out this group section because that we don't need anymore. And let's go here and let's create a new view and let's call it um, website image. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Swift UI. Let's do struct. Oh, let me just struct. I need like a macro for this. Website image view. And let's just do a var website locked website. Var body some view. And let's just for now return uh, and I'll just some placeholder. And let's, what is that? Do h stack here. And let's do website image here and pass it the website that we currently have. And let's see what that might look like. 
websites. All right, there's a little X, that's good. So uh, what should this do now? Should, there should be something like on appear and uh, basically run some code func load favicon and say loading favicon uh, load favicon and here we will call this person's API. Uh, where was it? This one. Do we have something like a lump fire? Again, I don't know how to pronounce that. Alamofire. Alamofire, whatever. Um, we don't. So we'll just make some basic Swift uh, load JSON. We'll do it without any library. It's not necessary. It's it's not necessary to use a library each time. I just don't remember any of this stuff because that's not something I do a lot. Oh, what is what are you doing there? Swift load JSON from URL. Oh, I have to use URL session. Are you kidding me? No, I get. I, I want something simpler. I'm just going uh, just sit a little straight right now. Oh, is this even Swift? Man, some things are just okay. This is what I was looking for. I think. Do I have to deal with like a connection object? goodness it's just it just feels overly complicated all this stuff swift load file from URL yes why isn't this question more popular but yeah it looks like that might work uh, swift i'm sorry this is taking me a while uh, open json file at remote url i just like those search results are no good and i'm a little impatient so as you can see i'm just scrolling real fast probably maybe i'm missing a good answer somewhere but that's just how i do it i'm impatient because I just look at it and I think that's the, that that can be it. But maybe this could be used. Uh, should I just install Alum Fire Swifty JSON? I don't want to use that. Okay, I give up. Let's get Alum Fire. Let's just see how hard it is there. Okay, I mean, that seems easy enough, I think. Okay, so let's just store the URL here before I lose it. How are we doing with tomato? Okay, I don't want, I don't want this to take too long. And so I'm going to really respect this tomato here. But first, uh, let's get Alamofire installed might be useful for other things, who knows. Let's just get it. We'll add it as dependency right here. All right, we got Alum Fire. Let's import it here. And let's just load JSON, which is done through request. I'll just say Alum Fire dot kit. Okay. I 
it just feels like this library is changing like every other day. I don't keep up with um, iOS development at all. So some things I just have to look for, even the super simple things. So give me some usage introduction that like some fairly easy example. Okay, you just say AF. <laughs> okay, AF dot request. We'll use URL here. Uh, not this one, we'll use this one for now. We'll just hardwire it at the moment and we'll do response JSON. Yeah, great. There's a response, okay. What do we do with the response? Is there like response dot data? And if there is, what is it? Okay, what is data? What type is it? It's just data. I don't want data. I want this parsed as JSON. The JSON is there a thing? Is the JSON. That body maybe? No. J give me JSON. Come on. Okay. Give me some JSON example here. Oops. Response JSON handler. Okay. What do I just print it? How do I get data out of this? That value, that's what you do, dot value. Good. So now value is any, let's convert it to, what does it look like? The response, is it, whoa, what? Did I just take it down? <laughs> All right, uh, it's, a, it's a dictionary. So we'll just convert this one, S and S dictionary. We'll use like Objective C dictionary so that I don't have to deal with any types. I'll just print it out. Data for Favicon data. Let's see if that works. Oh boy, something happened. Should we just force it? No, let's do guard let data else return. All right, websites, this one. All right, we're getting some kind of error here. I think the problem is that this is not HTTPS. So does it support HTTPS? I hope so, please. Yeah, it does. So we'll just change from HTTP to HTTPS. All right, uh, websites, permablock to Facebook. Great, so I requested Facebook, but it returned my own website, focus mark. So we can actually, I think we can change it now to do not use the, the my own domain, but to use like self.website.domain and that should return domain for, uh, that should return the icon for whatever domain we have there. But let's also parse the data a little bit. Let's look for let icons equal data object for a key, key being icons, S and S array. And let's iterate through it for um, let, it, oh man, I don't remember, for icon in icons. Found icon, icon. All right, so now it should keep what happened. All right, card let else return. And let's also, let's also format this one as one line, run it. What happened? What? Okay, forgot the question mark. Let's run it again. Websites, click here. Loading fav favicon, favicon. Wait, 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 wait. There was no response, was there? It didn't print any response. Maybe it must have quit early. Yep, that's what it looks like. So it looks like this operation didn't work. Let's print data again. What? Oh, hold up. Hold up. So what happened? Print response. That response to the value something wrong something has gone wrong here for sure let's print which url we're, we're, we're hitting let's figure out which what, what it is let url equals that and loading url all um websites something something 
Okay. Oh, good. Good. So the problem is, is that optional here. We can fix that. But uh, a better fix would be to do let domain equals self website a domain else return. So if there's no domain, we don't do anything. Okay, what happened here? Oh man, I'm sorry guys, I'm not paying attention. Guard let domain. It's late for me. I get up at 5 a.m. Uh, websites, something. And let's see here. Okay, that worked. So. I want to test it with I, with uh, that ICO file. So I'll be looking for ICO files among this. Uh, whoa, that's ugly. I'll be looking for ICO files among these icons that came back from server. So I'll do let ICO icons equals icons dot filter, and we'll do. Mm, so it's going to be more complicated. In uh, icon info in and let source equals icon info source. I don't think this is gonna work very well. Uh, what we need here? What is icon info now? Is it like is it like any let info equals? I need to know what type is icon info, but it's not telling me. Let's just do this first. Uh, let's do let icon URLs. Okay, this, oh, come on, what is icon info? What type is it? It's probably like, uh, goodness. It's not filter, it's map. So what is it? We still don't know. Let's run it. It's probably gonna be like any. Okay, so icon info. It's I mean it's a dictionary. So can we use it as dictionary? Icon info dot object nothing. Let's we'll, let's just do guard let icon let icon dict equals icon info s question mark ns dictionary else continue so skip to the next icon and let's get the source similar thing let source equal icon dict object for key source else continue and, well no we can't continue here because we're in a map so let's do it dif let's do it differently let's just do let uh, or like var icon urls equal and it's array of strings equal empty array. And here we'll do for icon in icons. Um, and we'll do wait for icon info in icons. Get icon dict and then get source. All right, I get the source. So we'll just do icon. Wait a second. S string. So we'll do icon URLs append source. And now we can just say print icon URLs. Icon URLs equal. Okay, run it. Switch to websites, perma blocked, and we got an array of my icons. Now we can do let ico icons equals. I know this is getting confusing. It's almost like, okay, I think it's gonna be time for a break soon. So we'll just do five more minutes. And we'll do just this and has suffix and the suffix should be dot ICO. Okay. Uh, I just realized you you can probably hear my computer fan a lot because it's going crazy. Anyway, we got our ICO icons here. So can we do this in five minutes? Far var icon URL string or empty. In this case, we'll just say self icon URL equals ICO icons that first. 
and this is a state variable so state now uh, we don't have that we don't have that as the web image blah 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 yet as the web image swift ui i only have three minutes now i don't think i can make it how long is this video it's half an hour already i t i surely talk a lot okay let's quickly add our sd web image thingy I wasted <clears throat> i wasted a lot of time doing that research for just loading json files i should know those things but you know <clears throat> don't use swift as much anymore Yeah, I'm thirsty. Why is this taking so long? I need to upgrade my internet. This is terrible. Oh, this is the worst. Okay, here we go. All right, we got SD Web Image Swift UI. Let's go back here. Let's import it. Import SD Web Image, probably. How do we use this thing? Web Image. Cool. Let's do this one. So we'll do that and this will be, so we'll do it a little bit differently because we only want to display this if we have, no, no, we're going to use some kind of placeholder instead. But what happens if this is nil? Like does it support, no, it doesn't support that. What can't find web image? What should I import? What should I import? Huh, maybe it has to be done that way. What, are you kidding me? Import web image, oh, here we go. Okay, so question, can we do nil? Because my my uh, icon, URL, icon URL will be nil sometime and it seems like we can do that. So we need to add a placeholder for this guy and I'm not there yet. Uh, I don't think I have any suitable placeholder. Maybe I can use this stupid thing for just now, just to see if placeholder works. So how did he do that? Or she? All right, we got placeholder and we got empty, what, what, what? All right, let's build that. So uh, what we have here is we have the web image with nil, with nil URL and we need to change that to the real URL. So first let's rename this guy to icon. We'll change it like just icon URL string because this is not URL object. Here we'll add var icon URL, which will be URL object, but question mark, so optional. And if let icon URL string, <sighs> else return nil. And if we have that, we'll just do URL. How did they do it? They did it just URL string equals URL string. Easy. And we need to return it. So here we'll call icon URL. Websites, perma blocked. Wow. Wasn't that cool, huh? I mean, that's neat. It takes a while to load. Looks like uh, Instagram doesn't have IC icon. How about these? Most of these failed. Uh, what? Okay. All right. So this is about using, uh, this is about using HTTPS. Mm. So they're trying to load the fav icon from Twitter, but from unsecure URL, we can fix that. You see, we can totally fix that. Just replacing occurrences of HTTP with HTTPS. And we'll just assume that each website has HTTPS support. So websites, social, that worked. 
it took a very long time, but we'll be caching these. So that's, I mean, we'll set up some kind of cache here. This is not something I'm worried about. Okay, looks like each one of these failed. Does it mean that they don't have uh, ICO file? Now it doesn't have to be ICO file anymore, uh, but this one had a ICO file. So that's strange. It, it sure had the ICO file. So question is, what? a response nil. Am I hitting this API too hard? Is, is, that, is that what it is? Like, was I making too many requests um, uh, a second? I don't know. Well, there's still some work to do with this. Maybe, you know, like probably we shouldn't even be using this API. This one's working pretty neatly. Yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. Um, obviously, we'll need to do something about these sizes, but oh, this is cool. Anyway, uh, all right. Well, okay. This seems to be working. Whoa, what is that? What happened there? I mean, yeah, they're kind of they're kind of crazy. So it is a first step. That's how it. That's how this sort of thing goes. So I'm happy with that. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been fun for you. Um, and I guess I'll see you next time. I really want to continue on this on this little thing. See ya.